क्यूरियस टू नो वॉट्स न्यू एंड एनहांस की फीचर थ्री डी एस मैक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री हैज राइट प्लेस दिस इज वो जया फ्रॉम ग्रे एच टीम यो इज द लिस्ट ऑफ न्यू एंड एनहांस की फीचर लेट्स बिगिन विद आर ए मॉडिफायर फॉर आर ए मॉडिफायर सेलेक्ट दी ऑब्जेक्ट गो टू मॉडिफायर लिस्ट एंड सेलेक्ट आर ए इट गिवस एडिशनल पैरामीटर दैट इज नॉट अवेलेबल विद आर ए कमान array modifier creates clone based on the selected distribution method you can choose to duplicate and distribute clone using grid radial spline and surface as per the selected distribution method the parameter rollout will appear let's see grid first grid is used to create a uniform sets of clone in grid pattern so here you can see that it has created clone in x axis to change the clone in x axis i'll go with count x to define the distance between them we can use spacing and offset to create clone in y axis i'll go with count y define the distance between them will repeat the same step for creating the clone in the third axis for now i'll change the value of count y and z to 1 scroll down here you will get randomization rollout it provide control to adjust the position rotation and scale it applies the adjustment to a percentage of the clone in an array let's move to the next distribution method that is radial here I have selected the object and already applied array modifier and set the distribution method to radial. Select the axis, then define the number of clone in count. With radius, we can set the radius of radial array. With start and end angle, we can define the start and the last position of radial array with rows it sets the numbers of row in clone i'll define the distance between them too to get a staggered effect enable stagger to get a concentric ring of clone use ring option let's move now to the next distribution method that is spline distribution for spline distribution method set the distribution method to spline then go with pick spline select the reference spline from the scene then select the axis enable retain orientation to retain the object's original orientation you can define the number of clones over here Let's move to the next distribution method that is surface. For surface distribution method I'll select the object assign array modifier to it switch to surface we'll go with pick surface and select the surface. In layout select vertex face center or 
एच सेंटर टू सेट द वे क्लोन्स आर प्लेस्ड ऑन टारगेट सर्फेस विथ सर्फेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड वी कैन क्रिएट क्लोन ऑन द सब ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ टारगेट मैश लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट फीचर दैट इज स्नैप वर्किंग पिवट विथ स्नैप वर्किंग पिवट वी कैन एडजस्ट द वर्किंग पिवट वाइल परफॉर्मिंग अ वेराइटी ऑफ फंक्शन With the help of this tool, one can place the working pivot on any vertex, edge, face, component, or the midpoint of the selected object. To access it, go to Tools menu. Then go with Snap Working Pivot tool and click on it. Or you can access it by right-clicking on the toolbar, Enable Snap Working Pivot Tools. I'll select this object, which is converted into editable poly. I'll select the polygon and scale it. So here you can see that it is getting scaled from the center. Now I want to change its working pivot. So for that, I'll go with place working pivot and select a new working pivot. Now when I try to scale the polygon, you can see it is getting scaled from the new pivot. To get additional points, we will use place pivot bounding box and then we'll go with place working pivot so now you can see you are getting additional pivot points so i'll change the working pivot now over here now to create a custom grid which will be aligned to the current position i'll go with create grid from working pivot we can use it to create a new object which will be aligned to this surface to reset the working pivot i'll use reset working pivot Next addition to the list is auto back toolbar. To access it, right click on the toolbar and enable auto backup. Now we have a specific auto back tool with icons to toggle auto backup. There is a timer with a countdown for the next auto backup and the button to reset the timer the countdown will not start until you interact with 3ds max let's move to the next enhance feature that's in spline extrude for spline extrude i'll select this shape which is converted into editable spline i'll switch to the segment mode select the segment I'll press shift and drag it. With this new odd keys, it lets you quickly extrude the spline segment or spline vertex. Shift plus drag and clone the spline segment while using move, rotate and scale. So that's all in this session. Thank you for watching.